I have gotten Google AdSense approval on many sites. For example, I got Google AdSense approval recently on this site, a movie review site. So today in this video, I will show you how to get Google AdSense approval fast for a WordPress site or your blogger site. If this is your first time of watching my video, I made videos on SEO, blogging tips, and how to make money online. So subscribe to this channel to get notification whenever I make new videos. If you are watching this video, you already know what AdSense is. But just to summarize it, AdSense is an ad network that pays publishers, that is, website owners for us being shown on their sites. Here are the steps of getting Google AdSense approval fast for your blogger site or your WordPress site. But before I show you, I want you to understand that getting Google AdSense approval is not an overnight process. It can take few days to few weeks for Google to review your blog and grant approval. These steps I'm about to show you can only increase the chances of getting approved faster. I have to be honest with you, it is not 100% guaranteed. I will tell you why I said this and the best way to get approved at the end of this video. Step 1. Get a responsive team. A responsive team is a team that has good layout and it is mobile friendly. This can be a free team or free template. There are a lot of WordPress team and blogger templates that are responsive. Step two, have an about us page. Create a page and name it about us. Write about your blog or about yourself and publish it. Step three, have a contact us page. Create a page and name it contact us and write and place a form or means to contact you on that page. Then step four, have a privacy policy page and also have a disclaimer page. All these pages I've mentioned, having about us, contact us, privacy policy and disclaimer page. After creating them, make sure you place it on the menu of your site where it is seen, where it is visible to users. Make sure it is placed there on the menu. Then after creating it, the next thing you need, to, you need to take note of is have a good content. Having a good content is one of the most important of all I have listed. Over 90% of Google AdSense approval depends on the content of your blog. As usually said, content is king. No doubt, this is very true. Google requirement on getting your website approved emphasizes more on content that is the content of your blog. There are two criteria that tell me if a content is quality. One is the content length and the originality. The content length shouldn't be less than 300 or 200 words and it shouldn't be a copy and paste content. But this content you got from another site and paste on your site, it should be original. Once you've done that, you're 90% close to getting your Google AdSense, getting your Google AdSense account approved. Following all the steps I listed above may not guarantee your site approval, but it does increase the chances. Here's why. I've gotten Google AdSense approval on many sites in different niches, and some on old and some on new sites. You only get Google AdSense approval when your site is valuable in Google Sites. What do I mean by valuable? What I see as valuable might not be the same as Google sees. However, this is what I mean as being valuable. That is, when your site is valuable. One, your site content to solve a particular problem, to solve a particular need. To solve a particular need. You can do that by doing keyword research before you write any content on your blog. If you don't know how to do keyword research, 
check the description of this video, you will find a link to the article I've written on how to do keyword research. So you do keyword research to know what users are looking for and write about them and write about it on your blog. Number two, does your blog get traffic? I'm not saying getting traffic is one of the requirements of getting Google AdSense approval, but rather it is important you get traffic to your site. And the way you can get traffic to your site is by writing what users search for, by doing keyword research and posting on social media where you can get traffic. I've gotten Google AdSense approval several on sites with zero views. So getting traffic is not a requirement in getting Google AdSense approval. Rather, it increases the chances of getting approved. Three, niche down. What do I mean by niche down? What I mean is instead of blogging on sports, let's say you want to blog on sports niche. Instead of blogging on that, you limit it to football, you limit it to football. Or you can even go further to Premier League or even blogging about a particular team. For example, Arsenal. By the way, I'm an Arsenal fan. So, doing this not only get, not only help with getting AdSense approval faster, even if your site is a new site, but it also helps in your SEO. This helps search engine to know and understand what your page is all about. So what I'm saying is you should go for a micro niche. Still on niche, go for less competitive niche. Even though you have to go for a micro niche, go for a lesser competitive niche. Go for a lesser competitive niche. Again, this not just helps you in getting Google AdSense approval faster, but helps you to rank and drive traffic to your site. So when you go for a less competitive, are you less competitive niche, niche you can get traffic and also helps you get Google AdSense approval. For example, I wouldn't advise anyone to apply for Google AdSense approval with an health or insurance blog, especially if it is new. This is what you should do. Blog on other less competitive blog niche until you gain approval, then you can switch. It doesn't mean if you already have an health, if you already have an health niche or insurance niche that you won't get Google AdSense approval. No, you will get. But what I'm saying, if your site is new, you have a new site. Go for a lesser competitive niche rather than going for a highly competitive niche like insurance niche and health niche. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. This will help my video to get more visibility. So these are what I mean as a site being valuable. One, your site solves a particular problem. Two, it gets traffic. Then three, is a micro niche. Is a is a micro niche or a less competitive or is in a less competitive niche. It doesn't mean if you are into multi niche multi niche blog, you are not going to get approved. You will still get approved. But what I'm say what, what I'm saying is, go for a lesser competitive niche. Do with keyword research before you start applying for Google AdSense approval. I want you to know that this I'm about to say is the most important thing to know you need to know or you need to have to get Google AdSense approval. In short, it should be an attitude, not just getting Google AdSense approval, but in everything you do. And that is, you should be patient and consistent. Patience and being consistent. AdSense can reject your application even though you follow all the guidelines of AdSense or all the steps or all the tips I've said in this video, you may still get disapproval. You may still get rejection. When you get rejection, don't get discouraged. Rather, 
keep updating your site with useful content and reapply and reapply. Most of the times, Asen usually state the reason for rejection and most of the times they are right about that reason. For example, they may say you have a low value content. If you check through your site, you discover that truly you have a low value content on your site. On your site. So whenever you get an action suggestion message, make sure you go through it. Make sure you go through the message and try to fix it. Try to fix it and reapply. I have listed and written on how to fix most common AdSense suggestion messages like low value content, scrape content, and so on. So in the description of this video, you will see a link to the article I have written about them. If you're not confident enough or you want me to check your website to see if it's if it is good enough to get Google AdSense approval, then order my AdSense approval service. Check the comment section for the service. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.